Pisces. Hey, Pisces. It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your case of the X I love reading. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Um, this is general. It will not resonate with all of you Pisces. Do check your Moon and Rising sign for additional messages. All right, Pisces, um, I'm doing the case of the X love reading. This will be for the month of May. Um, you guys been begging me to bring this reading back. I will be doing a shorter version. Um, so I'm going to look at their feelings, what's stopping and blocking them, um, the reconciliation, and the potential outcome. All right, if you guys would love to book the case of the X love reading, you guys can go on my website, fire and, um, fireintuition.com. What else? Oh, yeah, the, um, damn, Ash, get it together. The case of the X webinar is Saturday, May the 4th, all right? So do save your seat if you guys are interested. All that info is below, all right? So let's hop into this reading, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you in the X, all right? Let's see what's coming in. Love messages for Pisces for the month of May. That was a two of wands. So let's see what we got, Pisces. So the person you're dealing with and how they feel about you. Ace of wands, nine of pentacles. So they want to be back in a relationship. Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. This is a new relationship, um, a new passionate beginning. They're ready to come back together. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like both of you guys are thinking about each other, though, for some reason. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Um, but if not, this person's been thinking about you a lot lately, right? And they want to be back in a relationship with you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to work things out with you. For some of you guys, you work um, you work with this person. Um, are there going to be like a friend? Or a co-worker or someone that's going to try to bring you guys together. You guys could have been dealing with a cancer. They're finally ready to move forward. Um, are they wanting to move forward? Um, let's see what's stopping and blocking them from coming towards you, though. We have the moon. Cancer, Pisces, energy. The eight of swords. Yeah, I see they're scared. <laughs> so whoever you guys are dealing with, they're just kind of scared to open up to you and say something. Um, and then plus they were lying in the past with the moon and the eight of swords. They were keeping things hidden. You know, they kept you blindfolded to their bullshit. So let's see why is the moon here. Clear by the moon. The fool. Yeah, they were, you know, they were just. I feel like they started something with you and weren't done with another situation. Um, or they just weren't willing to commit at the time. They didn't want commitment. They didn't want to settle down. You know, and that's what you wanted. Um, why is the fool here? Yeah, I see the will of fortune. That's not what they wanted with the fool, the will of fortune, and the moon. I do feel like this person um, feels like there's a reason why you guys met, why you guys came into each other's life. You know, I do feel like that person feels like that. And... Um, you guys just jumped into things way too fast. Um, going to the Eight of Swords. I feel like you guys move very quick with this person. Um, you guys move, move forward very quick. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Six of Cups. So, one of you guys felt as if this relationship felt familiar. And that's what also was stressing you out. So, what I mean is that, because we have the Ace of Wands, that's the past life soulmate connection. Or that's the past life connection or energy. A, um, the Wheel of Fortune. So, Either you or this person felt the connection instantly. Um, I feel like it would have been you, though, Pisces. You guys are very intuitive, and that's what also stressed you out. And it's not even that it stressed you out. It's just the fact that you felt the connection very strongly. And then it's like things are moving forward. You guys move forward fast, and then you guys just ended it. Okay? Um, but this is what's stopping and blocking them from coming towards you. And I feel like they weren't done wrapping up um, something um, with someone else or they were still dealing with someone from their past. So they just, they just, you know, jumped into something new with you and kept some things hidden from you. So let's see, going to the school really quick. Yeah, I see the tower. Yeah, so it's like this this ended very quickly. You guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Um the tower is here. You guys broke up unexpected or they just cut cut things off with you unexpectedly. You weren't expecting it. Alright, so let's look at the reconciliation. 
We have the Ten of Swords and we have the Seven of Swords. You guys do not trust this person at all whatsoever. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Um, and with the Seven of Swords, it's like... This person knows what the hell they did, okay? But it's like they don't see it that way for some reason because the Seven of Swords is looking this way, not at the Ten of Swords. They're not realizing that they caused a lot of damage and they want to reconcile and come towards you. See, you have the shape card, all right? And they're just like, okay, I'm confident. You know, I can bring this back together. I'm ready to bring this back together. But at the same time, they were scared and still dealing with something else. And not telling you how they felt. So let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Clear about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Six of Wands. So this person was hiding their true feelings. This person really liked you and they ran away from the situation. Or like, because I feel like someone ghosted you guys. But as um, far as reconciliation goes, yeah, they want to come back together after ghosting you, lying to you. Jumping into something with you way too fast. Why is the seven of swords here? Three of cups. Yep, see, they want some type of reunion. They want to come together. It was a third party um, in the past. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys knew it was a third party, but you still um, went into the relationship anyway. So let's look at the potential outcome. We have the ace of cups, and we have the lover's card. So Gemini energy, but the lover's card... Um, Someone's finally ready to step up and offer love. All right? So that's when I'm getting Pisces. <laughs> Whoever this was played a lot of um, games. They were on some bullshit. And now they want to come together. Why is the lover's card here? Two of cups. Yeah. And now they recognize the connection. You've been knew that you've been knew that there was a connection in the past. Now they see and realize that there is a connection. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.